All right, welcome everyone. This is going to be a test video um, regarding cows. Um, we're gonna see what mineral feed actually does for them. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have heard that it adds health to them. I've heard that it adds productivity. I've heard that it adds, or it takes away the amount of food they need if you put uh, mineral feed in there. So we're gonna kind of do some experimenting with that. I have four pens here, two pastures, two um, barns. One barn we're gonna provide mineral feed and one pasture gonna provide mineral feed and the other barn and pasture we are not. Each one of these has, if we go into our animals here, um, each one has uh, brown, three brown, well, I don't, they're all sorts of weird. Of course they changed how they're all oriented in here, which drives me crazy. But basically, when you go to buy cows, if we go up here, um, there's three levels of brown Swiss because they're all just different ages. And then there's three of Holstein, three of Angus, three of Limousine. Each one of these barns contains one of each of these. So each barn has 12 cows and each pasture has 12 cows. So that's kind of what we're looking at. So um, as far as the chart, I'll show you in a second. And I'm going to fast forward every day um, by coming up here and doing this. So it'll, it'll take me right to 8 a.m. I'm not going to provide them with anything for the first day. So everything will stay zeroed out. Um, and then I'll fast forward to 8 a.m. And then I'll provide them everything they need. Um, I'm not going to keep track of how much water they'll take or straw they'll take um, as far as some of the stuff goes. Cow barn, obviously we need to provide them with straw um, and slurry. We're going to keep track of the productivity percent um, and we'll keep track at the end of how much milk they've actually produced. It should just keep going up in here. So we'll take a look at that at the very end um, as well. Cow pasture, we only have to provide them with water, uh, nothing else. So I'll make sure they're provided with straw. Um, and or water uh, for both of them. We're not gonna look at manure production either because I'm not. that's not something I'm interested in. We're, if we get more manure or not, I'm not really worried about that. Um, we're gonna do a lot of variables as it is, so I don't wanna make it too complicated for me. But over here we have, I'm just gonna keep mixing it by hand. Um, so we have this one right here, which if you look in the upper or the kind of middle left-hand side of the screen has no mineral feed at the very bottom. And if we go over to this guy right here, this one does have mineral feeds. This will be what we'll use for the mineral feed ones, and then the other one will be for non-mineral feed. So, um, you know, Case is no mineral feed, and John Deere is mineral feed. That's kind of how I'm going to keep it separated. And obviously, I will produce more over here um, as needed. And I'll use very similar mixes, um, but it'll be TMR every time. It shouldn't matter as far as the mix goes. It should just matter as far as if it has mineral feed or not. So as far as the data I'm going to use to collect this, or what I'm going to collect data on, I'm going to show you my screen real quick here. So. On here we can see, um, this is month zero, which is completely filled out. So it has all three of the brown Swisses on here. Um, it has the price that they're currently worth. That is if I were to sell them, not what I bought them at. That's their sell price because we wanna keep track of how much they're worth and then how old they are, their health percent, productivity and food used. Um, so this is gonna stay that way for, for zero. So we have cow pastoral, no mineral, cow barn, no mineral. Then if we scroll down, we have cow pastoral, mineral, cow barn, mineral. So as you can see, we have two pages of data per month. We're gonna do one year worth of testing. Uh, to see how much total and then at the very end we'll do a total up so month one here which will be tomorrow um well it won't be tomorrow per se tomorrow will be month zero technically speaking but this will be after we go 24 hours with them having everything we'll keep track of where everything's at to see if their health might increase more with mineral feed or you know what the case may be uh, so we're going to kind of look at trends and i have this all the way down this is 26 pages you can see over here um, now i will kind of summarize all the data at the very end uh, but if you want access to this actual sheet here, I'm going to put a link down below to share it with you guys so you guys can view it. You can copy and paste it into your own document if you want to edit it um, and put different information in there. But you can't, I'm not going to give you access to edit my document, obviously, but you should, you'll be able to, I'll be able to share it with you. Uh, so you guys can click the link down below to at least view this document um, at the very end. Um, so yeah, if we go back to our pastors over here, um, that's what I'm going to start working on doing. I will bring you guys back in at the very end and we'll kind of discuss the results. Uh, so it's going to take me a while. I anticipate this will probably take me two or three hours to complete this test. So it is going to take a while. Um, we are running, we're on, if we go down here, I'm just to show you, we are going to leave seasonal growth on. Um, we're going to do one days per month and we're actually going to off. It'll just make my life easier. Uh, one day per month. So yes, and one day per month, just so I don't have to obviously it just will save me time to do it this way. Um, now, if it applies during seasons, it should work as well during non-seasons. That part should not matter as far as how uh, animals are programmed into Farming Simulator 22. And I also apologize if I sound a little strange, I'm still recovering from my wisdom teeth. But anyhow, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do all the testing and I'll bring you guys back at the very end and we'll do I'll go over some of the results here. All right, everyone, welcome back. So, um, quite honestly, very depressing results. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, you can see I added a new barn over here, uh, the auto feed barn. I did some testing with that as well. Um, I'm actually just going to go into our results here. Uh, so we're going to talk about a couple of things in here. So I'm going to jump over to those. 
Uh, so on your screen, you can see um, it's basically my results page. So I went, I didn't do the full test. So here's kind of my results. So I stopped after four months because there's no difference. So if we go up here, um, there's a couple things I noted that I want to point out here. We'll go through them here. Uh, so not listed above. I also looked at the puberty, reproduction, and slurry of the animals. They're the identical with and without mineral feed. The only differences we noticed were between pastures and barns, but both pastures with and without mineral feed performed the same, and both barns with and without mineral feed performed the same. So again, down here, pastures hit full productive faster than the barn. So um, I'll show you that actually up here. We'll go by one by one. So if we go up here to month zero, month one, month one, um, the cow barns were at 89% productivity where the pastures were at 100% right off the bat. Um, so that was a little odd. Um, I did think that was a little odd. Now, if we go back down here to our list down here, um, price, health, productivity did not vary with and without mineral feed. Feed water and straw usage did not vary with and without mineral feed. It just varied between um, barns and pastures. Milk production did not differ between mineral feed and no mineral feed. And pastures actually had a higher milk production rate by 33%. So if we go up here, what I started noticing is pastures, this is the pasture for sure. I definitely didn't switch these two. This is 100%, I double, triple checked it. Um, plus 600 essentially a month for pastures with these animals. And then plus 450 a month for uh, cow barns with these animals here. Now, if we also look, the food is about the same between the two. Straw use, it doesn't matter, it's not a comparison. So they both use the same amount of food, pastures and barns. And if we go up here to, uh, and that was with mineral feed, if we go up here without mineral feed, um, with no mineral feed, they use the same amount of food and the milk production is the same. Everything is the same, everything is the same. The prices all went up together, nothing changed. So I thought, okay, well, there must be some reason. There's the auto feed barn, I did not test it. So I, it, the auto feed barn, in order to use the auto feed function, so if you go, actually, let's look at the barn here. I'm actually gonna jump back over to um, the game here for a second. So if you look at the auto feed barn, um, in order to use, now this isn't the auto feed barn, this one over here, in order to use this auto feed function where it mixes it and does it for you, you have to, and I've tested this, you have to provide it mineral feed over here. Otherwise it will not work. Um, but at the same time, you also can dump regular TMR in here and never use the auto feed function if you wanna use this barn. I don't know why you'd wanna do that. The whole point is the auto feed barn, but Anyhow, with providing it with auto feed, if we go back to our results over here, with providing it with um, with or with mineral feed, it this the the test down here that could be zero right there. The test down here, as far as production and everything goes, 450 again after it kind of started tipping off again, 450. Um, everything was identical to the barn test above from the previous test. So as far as I can tell, there's no real difference as far as whether or not you'd want to use it. So um, again, it's not. I can't tell why you'd want to use mineral feed other than for a realistic role play aspect or to maybe just you know be better. There's no reason to use it, at least as of right now. Um, I've read online and nothing I can see online that I've read has said there's any reason to use it um, with everything I've read and all my testing here would indicate there's no reason to use it. Now, I don't know if it adds a benefit if you don't provide straw or don't provide water, for example. I don't know if it would add a benefit there. Um, I'm just not sure, but as far as I know, if you guys know something different, please let me know down in the comments. I will pin it if there's something that someone has posted that um, might be different than what I found out here, but that's what I got for you guys. Um, I will be doing another cow test video hopefully soon. Um, the next video I wanna look at is what is the effect of not providing water and not providing straw to a barn. So not providing straw to a barn and not providing water to a pen. That'll be a quick test. The test will also have involved in it. We're also gonna take a look at what the best time it is or when the, is the best time to sell every single brand of cow. Um, so we're gonna work through that and see when the best time to sell it is and keep kind of going. And that's if you're providing everything. So we're gonna try to do a test as far as all that goes. Uh, but for now, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on your screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.